Dear student, today we will discuss another database subject, Serenums. In last few videos, we discussed the different database subject like view, sequence, and then related to the sequence, we discussed the concept of identity. All of these videos are available on Data Science Center. So today we will discuss what is a Serenums. A Serenum is a database subject that enable users to call a table by in other names so for the tables we can use an alternative names right and we can call a table we can use alternative names for other table creating a synonyms eliminate the need to qualify the object name with the schema and provide you with an alternative names to a table whenever we are having the lengthy names of any objects is there so instead of writing complete names we can use the synonyms of that objects so how we can create the synonyms so creation of the synonyms we say that we are having the table is there implies for employee table we can use any synonyms so what is the general syntax of the synonym is we say that create And then we have a public that is a optional keyword create synonyms and then name of synonyms create synonyms name of synonyms let me say synonym name is here emp s and then for the object names for object names we see that object name is implies and alias we are using it over here hr dot implies if we are not with the hr schema then we can use the hr dot implies if we are using the hr schema then there is no need to mention it over here the schema names so how we can create the synonyms the general syntax is available over here let me open the sql HR at the rate of what CLPDB password is here HR enter okay now we have to create the synonyms so how we can create the synonyms syntax is here create synonyms now we can use it over here create public Synonym public is our optional keyword and name of synonyms. We want to use it over here EMPS. That is our synonyms names for we are using the schema name HR dot implies. So it says that insufficient privileges for the creation of the synonyms, we user must have a privileges so who can assign the privileges the dba user may be able to assign the privileges to assign the privileges we have to connect with the sys as sys dba and then alter session set container or clpdb now we have to grant create synonyms grant create synonyms to hr now hr may be able to create the different type of synonyms right for all the other different objects like create uh, the view user must create sequence user must have the privileges so Previously, this one user HR don't have the create synonyms privileges. So we assign the privilege over here. Grant create synonyms to HR. Now, if we want to connect HR username password at trackable database names or CLPDB, we are connected with uh, our user. Now I want to create the synonyms. So how we can create the create public synonyms 
name of synonym for hr dot implies if we are having okay uh, spelling mistakes is there the spelling of synonyms is wrong s y n o n y m synonym m p s for hr dot implies still let's say that create public let me create create synonyms create spelling of synonyms that is s y n o n y m for implies now synonym is created right so whenever we want to create the synonym for any users so user must have the privileges so then user may be able to create the synonyms here we create the synonyms emps for the implies table let me and if we call it if we retrieve the record using the imply select first names from first name last names comma imply id from implies where imply id equal to let we i am using it over here 176 so it display one record now instead of using the table names if i am using again i write same okay now i want to use it over here the synonym names instead of you can writing the complete names long lengthy names we can use the synonyms names so our synonym name is here emps so where imply id is equal to 176 it displays the same record it over here so whenever we want to retrieve the data from the table we can use the alternative names for the table and that alternative name is known as synonyms so we can create the synonym similarly if we want to drop the synonym we can easily drop the synonym from the database so what is the procedures to drop the database to drop the procedures uh, to drop the synonyms that is drop synonyms and name of synonyms we have synonym name is here emps so drop synonyms name of synonyms then synonym will be drop now if we want to retrieve the data with the synonyms names it will display that object doesn't exist although this one synonym was created for the object implies and we drop it over here using the queries drop synonyms name of synonym so i again repeat few things that to create the synonym we must have the privileges so to assign the privileges sys user may be able to assign the privileges to create the synonyms so main general queries for creation of the synonym is create synonyms name of synonyms for table names so synonym is the alternative names in other names for the table we can use the that names to call the table objects right instead of writing the lengthy names we can use very short names as a synonyms and using those names we may be able to retrieve the data and at the end we discussed that we may be able to drop the synonyms using the query drop synonyms name of synonyms thanks for watching the video